Watching A-grade trials riders on dirt bikes is somehow inspiring and depressing at the same time. It makes you want to ride your bike. It also makes you want to sell your bike. Tim Bloody Coleman gets me feeling this way regularly. So does Trevor Campbell. <laughs> Watching Trevor over this tractor tyre made me want to conquer my fear of tractor tyres. So I headed for the playground of the Western District's Trials Club. This tractor tyre, slightly smaller than my front wheel. I'm not too worried, I have done vertical faces of this height before. My problem, I weight the bike okay, but I hit the tyre too high. This is the usual problem with the punch technique. You need to hit the obstacle at about the two-thirds mark, but your instincts tell you to wheelie over and not punch it with your front wheel. It looks small as you are riding up to it, but man, these tyres do freak me out. Time to try the big one. This is the highest vertical face I've tried. The higher the obstacle, the more important it is to punch it low enough to compress your suspension. <laughs> the problem, first, I barely weight the bike at all. Second, I am punching the tire, but again, not quite low enough. If you don't compress that suspension enough, you don't get the lift needed. On the second attempt, I still don't weight the foot pegs much, but at least I punch the tyre a bit lower. Just enough to get up. Third attempt, time to weight those pegs properly and punch that sucker. That's better. I did weight the pegs a bit more, and I did punch it a little lower. The result? The rear wheel was just getting airborne before it hit the tyre, so the bike was finally getting some proper lift. Plenty of room for improvement, but I'm still pretty happy with that. And then there's always a trials rider. Just waiting to prance around and make you feel depressed <laughs> about your very limited achievements. Thanks, Jack. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Okay. Heavy Italian shit. Fuck me to fucking... Hey, what are you... Hey! What are you looking at? You want a piece of me? Come down here. Oh, yeah? You want to try it? Oh, fuck it. Trials bikes are so light and nimble, you can do some crazy shit if you throw yourself into learning the techniques. A very common question I get is, would I recommend the Beta Cross Trainer? No. No, I don't. I won't make any personal recommendations for anyone, but I will give vague <laughs> general suggestions. If you do a lot of slow technical riding, then one of the hybrid bikes might suit you. You could say the cross trainer is about 25% trials. Compared to normal dirt bikes, it is lighter and has soft trials influenced suspension. It has a tighter turning circle, a lower seat height, an engine tuned for grunt instead of top end power. Plenty of guys bought these thinking it would turn them into Graham Jarvis, then were disappointed when it didn't happen. And they complained about the soft suspension and lack of power. Duh. 
There is a reason the pro-level riders don't ride cross trainers in hard enduros. They simply aren't cut out for faster riding, even in technical terrain. If you are serious about hard enduro, you want the real enduro bikes. These hybrid bikes simply aren't cut out for aggressive riding. I've had the suspension upgraded, but the cross trainer is still skittish and not confidence inspiring once you get into third gear. But if you like this sort of trials based riding, it might be your cup of tea. Just watch out uh, for those main bearing failures in the 2018 and 2019 models.